Living in Fact Ministry. Amen. Blessed to be here today. Amen. Amen. Is it on? So what I'm going to be speaking on this morning is first fruits. But when I was sitting here, a verse came to me. I would just like to read it quickly. It's Philippians 2, verse 2 and 3. So it's about selfishness. It says, do nothing out of selfishness, ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humanity, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. Amen. So I think what uh, God is trying to tell us is let's not be selfish. Amen. Sometimes things are difficult and we've got to learn to overcome them. Amen. Amen. So I think that word is what uh, God just wanted us to hear before we start. Okay, the first truths. Amen. Thank you, God, that we you guide us into prosperity. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. The concept of first fruits is rooted in the Bible, in the biblical times where people lived in agrarian society. So agrarian is agriculture. Amen. When you plant yes. seed in harvest time, yeah. as Pastor Wellesley preached on a while ago. Um, so Harvest time was significant because that was when, when the hard work the farmers had poured into their crops and into the land had begun to pay off. They were literally reaping what they had sowed. Amen. Amen. That's great. God gave us ability to do that. Amen. If we go to Leviticus 23.10, I'll just read it quickly. When you, when you come into the land which I give you, and reap its first harvest. There you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. Mm. Amen. So God's teaching us that it's, it's a way of tithing, yes. but it's an annual tithe. Mm. Amen. Amen. So it's the first fruit. So when that uh, first fruit comes in and you start to harvest, that must go uh, into the kingdom of God. Amen. And God called his people to bring the first yield, the first fruits from their harvest to him as an offering. Yeah. This was to demonstrate the Israelites' obedience and, and reassurance um, for God. It showed that they trusted God to provide enough crops to feed their family. Amen. So their source was God. Amen. 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 So God is teaching them he is their source. Amen. So by giving that, your your um, it's a sacrifice. Yes. And and by sacrificing that, you will then reap. Yes. Amen. Amen. So back then, there were plenty of rules associated with making first fruit sacrifices. Mm. They had to be brought to the temple, mm. the priests. Mm. No other crops could be harvested yeah. until after the first fruits were. Um, Presented, mm. it was a complex process. Amen. 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 So today it's a simple process. Mm. So Jesus came and made it easy for us. Amen. 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 But I think in our own minds, we complicate everything. Yes. So when you go a bit further into this, the Hebrew's word for first fruits is bikarim, literally translates to promise to come. Amen. 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 It's quite interesting. Amen. The Israelites saw these first fruits as an investment into their future. 
God told them that if, the, if they brought the first fruit to him, he would bless all that afterwards. And whatever had to come afterwards would be prosperous. Amen. 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 So, so the animals would bear um, offspring, their, their crops would grow and have good yield. Amen. 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 We no longer live in agrarian agri agri based society. So in agriculture, yeah. we don't live in that anymore. Yeah. They're just farmers. Yeah. They produce for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But not all of us are in the yeah. farm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so most people, <laughs> um, we were not. So most people are hearing this probably not farmers. You likely don't worry about harvest or giving away your first yield of your crops. Amen. 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 So we don't we don't do that. Amen. We don't go and 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 plant a whole lot of uh, maize and then go give some of it away. No, we don't do that because there's farmers that do that for us. Amen. 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 But the idea of first fruits is still relevant. It just takes on a new meaning. Yeah. For us. Amen. Amen. So even in the Old Testament, they spoke a lot about first fruits. Amen. Amen. And this is not your monthly tithe. Just just to make that understood. The first fruits is the start. Yeah. Amen. It's not the finish. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 In Proverbs 3, 9, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops and your income. So today our crops and our fruits are income. Yes. So our yield is we go out and we work and we get get money in and that is our yield. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In the book of Exodus, where Moses is leading God's people out of captivity, God instructed the Israelites to give up the first of their crops yeah. so that they could understand the value of God's blessing. Amen. So there was lessons. Remember this is in the beginning times, lessons going forward. God obviously knew there's thousands of years to come and, and we need to be uh, educated. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So in the first five books of the Bible, Moses brings up the idea 13 times. Mm. This shows it was an important concept for his people to understand. Mm. So God is trying to teach us. He's trying to show us. Mm. This is an important part of our, our, our walk with God. Mm. Amen. 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 It is preference in the. It's, a, it's also pre, um, referenced in the New Testament. In the New Testament, Paul mentions Christ as the first fruit of those fallen asleep. Amen. Amen. So God gave us His first fruit, Amen. and that was Jesus. Amen. 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 He didn't go and have three children later and then give us the fourth one. Yeah. He gave us the first fruit. Amen. 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 But in Christ has been risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. God gave Jesus his gave Jesus his first fruits raised from the dead up for us. We must show sacrifice Amen. best for God. Amen. 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 So God showed us a sacrifice that that was quite significant. Amen. I don't think anybody sitting here today could do that. Amen. 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 So this does not mean literally fruit. It is the income wealth or blessing that we have received over the course of the year. So in the beginning of the year, you need to plant your seed for that year. So your first fruit, your first salary. Um, some of us uh, get tax returns during the year. That money, we should be uh, planting a seed to God for the next year. Amen. Amen. Some of us receive uh, no claimed bonus on insurance or anything like that. Uh, a bonus. Yeah. You get a, a way. Some people get a bonus. Yeah. You should be using that bonus as your first fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In Ezekiel 44 30, the first fruits of every kind and every contribution of every kind from all your contributions shall be for the priest. You shall also give to the priest the first of your dough. To cause a blessing to the rest of your house. Amen. Amen. 
So, so it's said there that we must do that. So it's, we've got to be obedient. We've learned about obedience, and if we are obedient, God will bless us. Amen. 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 Yes. A tithe is 10% of your income. This should be given in obedience. First fruit is different. Amen. Like I said. Amen. First fruit offering is typically an annual gift to the church done at harvest time. Amen. Well, we're not actually harvesting crops, as I've explained before. Yeah. This is possibly your yearly bonus, whatever you get back from tax, whatever uh, whatever you get in that year. Um, so we we should be doing that. Amen. Because that is the seed going forward. Yes. So God is saying, I am your source. Amen. You need to invest in your source. Amen. Amen. When you're giving your first fruit offering, it must be done with a good heart. Amen. 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 So we mustn't do it saying, oh, you know, I've got to give this 2,000 rands. Oh, I know, I could have, I could have gone to dinner or had a nice lunch here. Anyway, we're given with a good heart and we say, yeah, it's 10 lunches. Amen. 10 dinners. Amen. Amen. Giving first fruit offerings opens us up to the to allow God to work in our lives. Amen. So it opens that door, the windows of blessing. Amen. 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 When we approach God with open hands, not tight fists, it makes for Him to give us more to work with. Amen. 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 So if you go there and you maybe perhaps that's a verse of selfishness. Um, you go there with tight fists. You don't really want to give that money, but you give it. God's going to also have a tight fist and not really want to give that money because you're blocking it. Your actions are blocking it. That's right. what comes to you. There's a few procedures we should follow when giving um, our first fruits. And we should pray and ask God what to do with that money. Amen. But you must name your seed. Amen. You need to prioritize. Make sure you give first fruits. Amen. 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 When that money comes, you separate it and you say, well, there's my first fruit. Yes. And then that goes to God. Amen. It may not be money. Yes. It may be actions. Yes. Amen. 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 Give when you know it is for the kingdom of God. Amen. So don't go and say, well, my first fruit is for this dude on the corner here. Um, he seems to be struggling a bit. I'll give him something. You need to ask God. Yes. You need to make sure your first fruit is your first fruit is going into the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 We go to Romans eleven sixteen. If the first piece is holy, the lump is also. And if the root is holy, the branches are too. Yeah. Amen. 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 And in Deuteronomy fourteen twenty two, it says, "You shall surely tithe." All the produce from what you sow, which comes out of the fields yeah. every year. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So it's not every month or every week, every year. It's the first fruit Amen. of the year. And then back to Proverbs 3 9, it says, Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first of all your produce. Hallelujah. So we need to be obedient um, to the Lord. Amen. 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 And it's not the Lord my God, it's the Lord our God. Amen. 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 So let's, just, let's be obedient. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 Amen.